So I'm Peter Ulander. I'm the Chief Marketing Officer for Cloud.com. We're here at the uh, GigaOM Structure 2011 conference where there's all sorts of talk about cloud. So you guys are cloud.com. Uh, we got the name. <laughs> yeah. Uh, why don't you give our, our readers a, a little overview of exactly what you guys do? Sure. So we're a software provider. We provide an open source um, management platform that enables service providers and enterprises to build their own cloud. What that means is if you, if you think about uh, GoDaddy's upcoming cloud platform. Um, we're, the, we're the software technology that enabled them to build the foundation for their cloud. Or Zynga, Zynga's private cloud initiative is based on top of cloud.com. So tell us a little bit about um, your approach. Uh, cloud.com, you looked uh, towards the service providers sure. as a, a customer base. Uh, so tell us why. The, the company itself, we're about two and a half, three years old. Um, while we came out of stealth mode a, only a year ago, um, we got started right around you know, three years into the Amazon growth spurt, right, if you will. And in that, we saw companies like Rackspace, Amazon, GoGrid, and Joyent um, gaining significant traction by disrupting the hosting market. It was a new way of, of, of uh, accessing IT resources, and it was a new way for businesses to engage in the hosting model, yet the losers during that time, I don't want to say losers, but the ones that were hemorrhaging were a bunch of service providers that had significant interest in, in hosted servers and hosted services. They were watching their com customers move to this cloud-based model. It was faster, it was cheaper, it was on demand. Um, and ultimately, there was, a, there was a, an impending need to actually go build a cloud so that they could, they could maintain um, uh, their customers. So our, our CEO, Sheng, um, when, when he founded the company, he, he basically saw the premise that these companies were going to need a standard platform um, to essentially get up and running quickly with a, uh, a cloud operating environment, a cloud operating system, if you will. And that's essentially what we started to build. And over the first two years in stealth mode, we partnered with companies like GoDaddy and Tata and Korea Telecom to really kind of prove out the foundation of our, uh, of our technology. When we launched, we made that conscious effort to focus on the service provider because it was the biggest opportunity um, and we were addressing probably the hardest things to do in cloud. Scale, multi-tenancy, manageability, and ultimately usability on the back end for, um, uh, for the users. And you know, today, we probably in the service provider realm, we have a good, um, we have a good 45, uh, 45, 50 public clouds actually running today that range from you know, large uh, regional clouds to some of uh, some of these more innovative, very vertically focused companies like DataPipe or LogicWorks out of, out of the East Coast United States. So the server pr service provider market is uh, traditionally pretty competitive. How does uh, cloud.com and what you're able to, to do for them, how does this help these, these companies sure. uh, uh, you know, distinguish themselves? Yeah. So, I mean, the, the fundamental premise of a cloud, or at least the, the, the initial practice, the ability to spin up, spin down a VM or some basic network services, um, that stable sticks. You have to have that, but it's also not very differentiated. Um, the, the ability to go build that for many of these companies would take a fairly long time, and you'd rather invest your dollars differentiating on top of a platform. So what we've done is, on one side, created a standard platform for them to use as a foundation for a cloud, but we're also open source. We have a broad published API as well as a fairly large ecosystem of software providers ranging from security vendors to application management vendors and the likes. But what this does is it enables service providers to customize their offering. Um, in the infrastructure layer, there's a lot of options to improve and, and or, or optimize around core elements, whether it's network and I.O. or, or, or disk, or, or even in some cases, how you are protecting the cloud. Is it a, a flat IP base where one VM per public IP, or is it a full-blown private network with security and VPN capabilities? All of these things are, are, are 
uh, or ways that customers can, or not customers, service providers can start differentiating. Um, and I think that's why they like our platform is we give them a, sta a standard foundation to begin with, but a lot of room and a lot of flexibility to optimize for their value add to their customers. And since you, you are open source, how does your business model work and sure. how, do, how do you work with folks? Well, so, so first off, open source, we're GPL v3, um, and literally all of our code, the one piece of code that we don't open source is our billing module. Um, everything else, to stand up a cloud, run a cloud, and, and use everything, um, is completely open source today and downloadable from cloud.com, so that's free. Uh, and in fact, we, have, we, we actively staff our forums um, and our mail mailing list with our engineers, so they're already providing support. For companies that want to um, engage with us on commercial terms, we, we, we charge you know, very very traditional um, infrastructure type charging. It's a thousand dollars per server, rough estimate, um, and uh, per year. And what that gets is all updates, all upgrades. It gets 24 by 7 support, and all of the elements that really kind of help a service provider move from you know, test or pilot into production. So. One of the topics of discussion here is all the all the growth, all the development. It's sort of the cloud is a fast moving space right now. What does the cloud.com see going forward? What's what's going to change, and how's the industry changing, and how are you guys uh, see things going forward? You know, the, so the market is absolutely growing. There's more and more interest. I mean, even just the difference between last year and this year here at um, here at Structure is, you know. It's a very large change um, uh, from, a, from a customer and a user perspective. That said, we're really only moving from what is a cloud to what can I do with a cloud type of discussion. We're still very, very early days um, uh, on that front. Where we see a lot of opportunity, where we actually focus is, you know, how can we help businesses get to the cloud faster. So on one side, you know, we solved a lot for service providers. We actually um, we're, we're coming out with a new uh, portal platform that will sit on top of our tool, to, or on top of our platform that, that helps um, with the BSS, OSS complexity. So again, faster time to money with a better service for service providers. On the enterprise, um, we did a lot of work, like we just launched a technology called MyCloud, which enables enterprises to get up and running with a private availability zone in their local data center in less than 30 minutes. So it's about how do we accelerate um, uh, the ability for an end user or an end customer, be it a service provider or, a, or a, an enterprise, to get up and running with the cloud quickly and demonstrate successes you know, early on. Well, listen, thanks for taking a, a few minutes to, to tell our readers about cloud.com. Absolutely, I appreciate your time today.